Welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. I want to do a haul video. I do want to let you know that I am still on my phone. So I'm sorry about that. Nothing I can do. I got my stuff, or some of my stuff, that I ordered from HSN. So my first box, and this all came today, and it all came packaged separately is the peacock collection so let me just start from the bottom and we have the paper pad and uh -oh. I didn't think about opening it Shoot. I didn't think about opening it ahead of time but Okay, there's vellum paper, colored vellum paper in the back, which is awesome. I don't know if that's, that's vellum too. We got some purple. I can't see what you can see. That's purple and blue and gold. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's, um... A peacock and script and of course that's going to be a big peacock ooh peacock feathers there's a, the peacock again with green ooh pretty feather oh there's some Foiling on there, if you can see that. Feathers. Ooh, that's pretty too. It's got some gold foiling on it. Pretty paper pad. Ooh, this one. It's kind of vintagey looking. It's really pretty. That might be my favorite so far. More script in the purple and the peacock again. Then we got the um, plumage panel embossing folder. And we got peacock plumage die. And you can't see what the die looks like, but it shows the four feathers. That might be really nice. And we've got a 3D embossing folder. I'm not sure if I have those plates or not. I'll have to look and see. Um, acrylic stamps. Words. All words, it looks like. That's okay. Always need some sentiments. Oh, there's a peacock. These are stamps also. I don't know if you can see there's a peacock and feathers sending happy thoughts. Uh, I don't know what that is. But. And then this is a metal die. It's a frame. Flourishing frame. And then this is a metal die feathered corner. That yeah, looks pretty. It's really pouring outside, folks. Oh, look at this. Very pretty. Metal die proud peacock. Very, very pretty. And then a stamp and die. And it looks like you got the peacock body, and then you add the feathers yourself. There's some words, and like a corner stamp. I think that's a stamp. Hopefully the dies match. I'm sure they must. Okay, that's the peacock collection. I don't want to wiggle the phone like I did last night. And then there's this one. And this is the Vintage Christmas. Oh, yes. So we have 
a season's greeting die. We have a festive frame, cut and emboss folder, nice. We have a Merry Christmas die. We have a Christmas wishes die. We have festive foliage die. And there's the We have Christmas magic words. Vintage Christmas. This was my main reason, I think, for getting it. Stamp and die, and it's the Santa Claus. Look. Isn't he adorable? I love that Santa Claus. Peace on Earth die. A metal die, Yuletide frames. So there must be a few of them. Um, a metal die, poinsettia, perfection. So you can make the poinsettia. Seasons greeting die. Um, Enchanted Ivy die, and I guess it must be like an edge of ball. Okay, and the paper pad. Now, this paper pad, oh, oh darn, we're gonna open it because. I believe she said this paper pad was made by an artist and planned so that you could take pieces and the rest of it is still good so you could use just pieces of it. I want to open it better. Just pieces of it. And the rest of the paper will still be good. So yeah, you could take like that Merry Christmas, if you can see that. Um, the first Noel, here's some stockings, and a little bit there. It's very hard, oh, here's the other side. Oh, oh, look, oh my goodness this. Oh, is that awesome? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get past this one. Okay. Let's try the both sides. Okay. This is just a continuance of this page. It's hard because then I don't know what you can see. Okay, and then there's like music, oh, well those could go together too, but look at that Santa Claus, oh my goodness, I could spend, oh, this is beautiful, oh, I love it, I love it, oh, oh, look at the big flower, I would, Oh, I can't. Oh, look at the cardinal. I don't know if you can see that cardinal. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that Santa. Oh. Look. As I'm sitting here, my computer started to run, 
and I'm not touching it. I wonder if that's why it's my editing program's not working. Oh, look, I just cannot believe this paper. Look at that Santa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, man. Are we going to make some stuff? Oh, look at that one. <laughs> He's kind of funny. Oh, look at the house. Can you see that? Oh, my goodness. You're like, I don't want to see your old paper pad lady get on with it. I bet. Oh, there's roses. Oh, look at that Santa Claus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I would definitely get more of that. I would use that for years and years and years and years. Okay, and look what else we got. Let me grab some scissors to open this so we're not here forever. Character Over the Edge Craft Kit. Craft Kit number 215. You know, what's funny is I had thought I wasn't going to get this one. The Character Over the Edge. And so I had tried to order it from Crafter's Companion. They had it up. So I ordered it. And I got notified that... Um, that they ran out of them and I wasn't getting any and and then this came in the mail so I'm glad about that now this is odd because they're it's the gems but they're clear okay and here's the ribbon assorted ribbon looks very sheer here's the stamp for the little Chicks under the umbrella. A little mouse on a balloon. A little frog in a tadpole. Here's the die. I can see the umbrella handle on that one. I wonder if this is for both these stamp sets. These are kitties. Bubbles. I guess they're in a bath. Then we got the card. And paper. Seems like something's missing to me. I don't know. It's been a while since I've gotten one of these, but... Sure seems like something's missing. That ribbon is that thin ribbon. And that surprises me. Now that I'm signed up for these, watch them get, start getting, um, I hope not, but if they start getting chintzy, that would be so sad. Now that I finally made it and got it, there's that paper. That paper. So that's one thing I noticed. That paper, that paper. In one of the other kits, was it didn't seem like there was that many choices of paper anymore. So let's see what colors we've got. And these character over the edges are cute. I've got some of the big ones, so. Um, they're very cute, but I like when we get the multimedia kind of ones from her yellow, red, blue, pink, and then a green, and that they definitely coordinate with the printed pad and that's that for that kit so we'll have to do one of these projects but oh 
Oh, you know what? The other die, it looks like it's back behind here. Maybe that's why it seems like something's missing. I think it's back behind here. Yep, there it is. There's the other one for the cats in the bubble. So we'll have to make one of those for sure. Let's see the ribbon. And I don't understand why these now are just clear. Self-adhesive dew drop. So I guess they're supposed to be a dew drop. And these are the sort of ribbon. It just looks like they're real thin. I don't I will always love the kits and I'm sure I will love this kit when I go to use it. See it's that what is that called? Organza? That I, you can hardly even see it so thin. But like I said, I'm sure when I use it I love it. So that's my haul. And hopefully I can get my program working and start using some of these kits and collections for you. I do love their card. Their card blanks are very nice. I do have to say that. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, if you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when... Uh, have a video come up. Um, I do plan on having a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. I have a ways to go, quite a ways to go. But we are starting to move up a little bit quicker now. So I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. I hope you all have a great day or rest of the night or wherever you're at. And um, thanks for joining me, and I hope you join me for my next one.